Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kalos. So today I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew before I got out of the military. So number one, I wish I knew about health insurance. Now this kind of seems like a random thing to bring up, but the reality is when you're in the military, everything is covered. Uh, you know, you got a problem, you just go to sick call. It's paid for, Look, you're looked after, and it doesn't cost anything. And also growing up in Australia for me, you see growing up there, the Australian government gives you health insurance. So you don't really pay, you don't have anything to pay for. It's completely different here. So I got out and I think I was covered for about six months still by the military. And after that six months, uh, you're just, you're kind of left out there. Now you can pay for certain you know, extensions on the military benefits, and I will make a video on that. But me, I didn't pay attention. A lot of people don't pay attention generally uh, when they get out. So, story time. I got out of the military, and I was like, yeah, 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 I'm covered. Six months went like that, because from being told what to do to freedom, I just, it just went by in a minute. So next thing you know, six months goes, and I have no insurance, and I'm working a job, I get home and a military injury just happened to pop up. Next thing you know, my hips aren't working. I have nobody to talk to. I go to the doctors and it was about $150 just to see the guy. Uh, so I didn't even realize about health insurance. I didn't know shit about it. Uh, I tried calling my family and of course they were like, well, are you covered by the military? Not anymore. So. So know about uh, health insurance before you get out, know who's going to cover you and try and really aim to get a job that provides health insurance to include dental. So the second thing I wish I knew when I got out of the military was about pay. When you're in the military, you get paid a certain amount and it covers everything. I mean, you're, you're, on the, you're not on the clock 24 seven, but your pay is. So your barracks, your house, all that kind of stuff, it's paid for. But when you get out, it's all the amount of hours. And you think when you're getting out, you're like, that's simple. I understand that. But you really don't account for everything. So know exactly how much you need to earn when you get out and the area that you need to work. Because personally, when I got out, I was like, okay, this is how much I'm making in the military. So that's how much I'm going to need when I get out. Reality was, I did not take into account, okay, well, rent, utilities, insurance, you know, that was, those are things that I absolutely, you know, didn't take out or take into consideration. And being a younger, younger guy, I, you know, it's not like I really had anybody right there to tell me these things. So that's the, that's the second thing. All right. So the third thing I wish I knew when getting out of the military was where I planned to settle down, where my roots were going to be. And having come from Australia, I was like, well, I don't really feel like going back there. Um, my mom lived up in Washington and originally I thought about doing that, but it was too cold for my hips. You know, I broke them. I had just broken them and it was kind of, wasn't the best position for me. So I had some old buddy from boot camp that I didn't know too much about said, Hey, come to Arizona. It's a great place to live. The only time I'd been to Arizona was in AIT, but dumbass me was like, all right, all right, battle, let's go. So I showed up in Arizona and well, I've been here ever since, but I haven't enjoyed it completely. If I'm being honest, I haven't enjoyed it hundred percent. It's like 120 degrees every day. Uh, and it was, it was, you know, it was complete hell. Cause I knew no, I didn't know anybody. I had no support system. Um, if I needed to go and hang out with some family members, the closest one was, you know, 20 hours away. So know where you're going to get up and like know where you're going to go because the biggest mistake is, you know, getting there and not having anybody to fall back on. You know, like honestly, I almost became homeless on multiple occasions and it wasn't for lack of not working or trying. Reality is... I was young and didn't know exactly what I was doing. So 
Know what you're gonna do when you get out. Like have a, have a plan. Which brings me on to number four. Have a plan. You know, when you get out, make sure you know, okay, I'm gonna be going to college, have a job lined up, uh, and, and generally just have a really well organized plan and have, you know, work with the people in the VA. Work with your superiors as you're getting out to, to really solidify a plan because mm, I was lucky. I was very lucky to be somewhat smart. And I'm not saying that my friends weren't, but I can, off the top of my head, I can name five people that I know that were MPs, intelligence analysts, uh, worked in commo, you know, who a bunch of people just got out of the military and ended up living in their car. I mean, no shit living in their car. Um, People I had served with that I knew could could do so many great things, could fit into jobs, had no plan, just got out, and went went nowhere, just straight to the car. So that's that's something you don't want to do. Um, and so just yeah, number five, real or sorry, number four, really have a plan because it'll save you. And that brings me to number five. Number five is one that is really hard and this is this is probably the most important one if i'm being honest this is the most important thing that you could do for yourself as a military member getting out make sure you have somebody to talk to make sure you know you don't you don't have leadership anymore but one of the things that is still available to you is like a chaplain's phone number you know you can you can hop on the phone and call them and be like, look, I just got out of the military. I still want to talk to somebody. And they, they will, believe it or not, they will actually talk to you. Because when you get out, one of the least spoken about things is your state of mind. I know when I got out, it, I, if I look at who I was when I got out to who I am now, some of my actions were extremely weird. Um, and I think now that I've spoken to a few doctors about it, it, it was a form of shock. You're out, you're expressing all these new forms of freedom, you know, I can eat whatever I want, I don't have to wake up at 6am, you know, you can smoke weed if you feel like it, you can drink all day, you know, you can sleep all day. So you have nobody to tell you what to do. And majority of my friends that became business owners, who were also in the military, said their biggest struggle at the beginning was not having anyone to tell them what to do. We are originally, we go in and we're trained to listen to orders. But if there's nobody to tell you or to order you to do things, you kind of go through this this shock of freedom and then responsibility. And then eh, you're stuck. Debt, Debt just hits you and jobs hit you. You know, it's, it's not like you get a negative counseling. You just get fired, you know, or nobody had to pay for the barracks room, but you got to pay for your, you know, your room now. So it's like, you know, all these things are accumulating in your head. And and on top of that, you're probably not as fit as you were in the military. So absolutely your mental, your mental state of mind is going to be completely different. So always have somebody to talk to. doesn't matter if it's your family, a therapist, and don't be afraid to go and talk to a therapist. That's what they're there for. It's all, you know, it's confidential. They're not going to say it out unless you're trying to, you know, trying to kill somebody or to kill yourself, they will, they will be there. They'll keep all your secrets secret, but don't be afraid. Don't be too, uh, too proud. Cause I know I was, I ended up paying for it. I really did. You know? So now that I am talking to people, I am opening up, I am making movement. I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm actually happy to be here now where for a very long time, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to go to the gym. I didn't, I didn't want to do anything and for what? So make sure you talk to people. Those are, you know, those are my five most important things, you know, that I wish I knew when I got out of the military. I hope that's helpful to anybody out there. Um, thank you for watching this. And if you're still here, um, please like and consider subscribing. All right, guys, you know, have a great day. Bye.